And I suppose in some respects, you've done this a million times because we've talked about Sexton a million times, but now that his career has actually reached the end, you know, you couldn't but be struck by the emotion. Lucas Sexton finished everybody off. Um, how do you try and uh, sum up or pay tribute to the career that was one Johnny Sexton? Yeah, um, yeah. The the finality of it, I think, gives you a better opportunity to kind of look back. Like it's fourteen years into, of international. If you look at what Ireland have achieved in that time, the success they've had, of course, but it's actually how he has brought everyone he played with onto another level. That's his legacy okay. around bringing the standards in the match day squad at training, um, in general, the expectation levels of the country have risen on the back of him being the major out and out catalyst. Mm. Um, a really brilliant rugby brain, someone that understands space, never very rarely overplays his hand, more often than not picks the right option. Um, once in many generation type player. Mm. And I think we're going to get an acute sense as to what, how good in February, March and the coming year. Mm. Sometimes you have to wait for people to be gone, but whatever the phrase is, before you really appreciate how good they were. I know we have this major, I, I certainly do, have a major appreciation for Johnny now, but I think sometimes when they're no longer playing, it really lands as to how significant their contribution has been. Um, uh, an amazing, amazing player and become a great leader. So huge loss to, to Irish rugby, but God, we have been very lucky to have him for 14, 15 years. Mm. Amazing thing that the headline legacy for someone who was such a gifted player was to make everybody else better as well. You know, he'd be perfectly entitled to have just been this once in a generation out half and look after himself, but actually I'm going to do that and I'm going to bring the standards up massively. That's double whammy. It is a double whammy, <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, but I think if you look physically, Adam, like as an athlete, not the world's greatest athlete. He's, he's always taller he's, than you sorry, think. He's, he's, he is. <laughs> he's always taller he's than you think. Yeah, sorry, he's also stronger than you think. Yeah, but not, not as wide, maybe. Sorry, a, a, still a very good athlete, but his brain yeah. was on a was on another level. Like, he's encyclopedic mm. around his knowledge of his game, everyone else's game, what's happened the last 10 years, what's likely to happen with the teams that are coming up against. I have never quite seen that level of understanding of, of a game unfolding. I, I'd imagine he'll be, he'd be an excellent pundit if he wanted to get into, come up to the dark side, but I can't see it happening. Mm.